Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a list today of five fantastic barrel proof bourbons that you may or may not know exist. But before we do that, please do me a favor like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those great YouTube things. Appreciate that. It helps us out a ton. So thank you for that. But let's get into this list. Alrighty, we are talking barrel proof bourbons today. If you know me, you know I love myself some barrel proof whiskey, especially a barrel proof bourbon. And I can talk on forever about how Elijah Craig, Stag Jr., you know, Makers 46 Cash Strength, all fantastic barrel proof bourbons, Woodford Masters proof collection, whatever it's called. You know what I mean. Fantastic, fantastic barrel proof bourbons. But what are some barrel proof bourbons that are fantastic that you don't know about? What? Because you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So I'm bringing you a list of five fantastic barrel proof bourbons that you don't know about. And yes, some of these are a little crafty. It's a little crafty, but we're going to start off less crafty and kind of work our way in and to kick this list off we're going with one that sadly kind of discontinued but there's still a shitload of stock out there with it so pick it up while you can and that is bell mead reserve bourbon this is amazing blended mgp i don't need to go too deep into that flavor profile but it's fantastic blended MGP or Robson and Squib or what, whatever they're called now. Just it's great blended squib juice. Uh, it's at 108.3 proof. So, and that's a fantastic drinking proof. 108.3 proof is amazing. 110, perfect, perfect drinking proof. And it's just sweet, nice, truly enjoyable MGP. I know this stuff has been replaced by. I think it's Nelson Bros something or other something. I'm willing to say, without having tried that, likely it's going to be just as good, maybe a little bit worse, but I'd be willing to say that's also a kind of second best to this. Fantastic blended MGP that is truly enjoyable. So if you don't know about it, now you know about it and go get it while you still can. Followed by something that's also a little crafty, a little, little crafty, but oh, it's just, just purely amazing. Wilderness Trail Cash Strength Bourbon. This stuff is the um, Rye Mash Bill Small Batch Family Reserve Cash Strength. I got this for like 50 bucks at Costco. Loved it. Bought three of them. This is bottle number three. That's why it's not open because I had to stop chugging it. This stuff is amazing 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 this is the bottle that got me into wilderness trail in and itself and it's just truly truly enjoyable and since then i've gotten into so much wilderness trail juice that i like i have three bottles not three bottles of this specific bottle i have three different versions of the bourbon now so truly truly enjoy wilderness trail bourbon and this Family Reserve Cash Strength is fantastic. Again, 110 proof. Like, that's my ideal drinking proof nowadays. Those two, fantastic. Just chugging, sipping, enjoying. Almost summer bear-proof bourbons. But let's get into something that's not so much a summer bear-proof bourbon. And one I've had for a lot, while and truly, truly enjoyed, which is Pinhook High Proof Bourbon. This stuff is really really interesting i get like a cinnamon toast crunch or not a cinnamon toast crunch it's apple jacks so that apple cinnamon cereal note on this this stuff is awesome you know like it's not my go-to barrel proof bourbon but it's truly truly enjoyable little crafty little interesting little kind of um cereal-y vibe going on in there but all in all really fantastic whiskey I truly enjoyed their cash strength line. Stick if you're gonna get a cash strength or a pin hook at all, go cash strength. Go cash strength all the way. Their other stuff don't truly enjoy that, but their high proof stuff, if it's a high proof bourbon or rye, both both just 
truly great, especially for like the $50 it is. You can't go wrong with any of these. Like honestly, all of these are like, the last three have been $50 and they're fantastic value at $50 all the way. The Wilderness Trail, I'd pay 60 for. Bellmead, maybe 60. Pinhook, I'd stay with 50, um, but that's just because the Wilderness Trail is fan-freaking-tastic. Moving on, we're moving away from Kentucky bourbon. We're now going into Texas whiskey, and no better offering than Still Austin Cash Strength. Still Austin Cash Strength is one of my favorite Texas whiskeys. This stuff is truly enjoyable, and it's kind of a more easily accessed Texas whiskey. It's not overly aggressive. It's more of a traditional bourbon flavor profile with a little bit of Texas pizzazz going on in there, a little bit of Texas flair. You know, it's not it's not too, too much like some Texas whiskeys can be with that, like, leather, drying oak, things of that nature. This, it's a lot more brown sugar and sweetness, like you would get off of a Kentucky whiskey. And this stuff comes in at 118 proof, and it's like 50 bucks in my area. So if you can find it in your area, which I'm in Arizona, so we're starting to see a lot more Texas whiskey with the expansion of that market. So for me, it's a little bit easier, but if you can find it, likely you can find it for like 50 bucks. So pick it up if you can. And then, still staying in Texas, the next one that I bet a lot of people don't know about this bottle in general, even if you're a Texas whiskey fan, and that is Grayson's Texas Bourbon. So this is a very, very fun bottle. This was uh, batch number one Bravo of the Grayson's Texas Bourbon, and this is everything I wish Texas whiskey was or is, you know, this is like Texas whiskey all in one package. I don't know how many distillers uh, are partnered in this, but essentially this is a huge collaboration of Texas whiskey. This is a bunch of Texas whiskey distillers working together with Iron Root because I believe Iron Root is the one who blended this and I'm a huge, huge fan of Iron Root whiskey. You know, you've seen them a thousand times on this um, channel. But this stuff is a blend of a bunch of different Texas whiskeys put together to create an amazing 119.4 proof Texas bourbon blend. And this is fantastic. It's It takes all those great parts about Texas whiskey, blends them together in perfect matrimony where nothing's fighting it, nothing's too aggressive, nothing's like just blowing you out. There's not too much like dried corn or leather or like oak you know it's it's just a perfect balance of all those texas flavor profiles without smacking you too hard but just being truly truly enjoyable this is something i would give this and the still austin or something i would give to new people who aren't into texas whiskey to kind of have them like try it you know baby step into the pool of texas whiskey because you can't really go straight into like a balcona single malt you know you need something a little bit easier and this grayson is for sure easier and the still austin is like it's borderline like i wouldn't be surprised if it was a blend of kentucky and texas whiskey i know it's not but it kind of reminds me of it but that is my list of five fantastic barrel proof bourbons that you didn't know existed i know some of these with these being texas adjacent or you know texas they're texas whiskey not texas adjacent it's just texas whiskey but with them being texas whiskey i know you might not be able to get all of them in your area but for sure you'd at least be able to get one or two of these bottles in your area so if you're interested in any of them and you're thinking hey i want a barrel proof bourbon but Let's try something new. These are fantastic offerings that I think you should look into if you're looking for that new Barrel Proof Bourbon. But that's a wrap for this video. Please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below, what did you think about my list? What are some other Barrel Proof Bourbons that 
I don't even know about because I bet there's a shitload out there that I don't even know about. And I'd like to find five more so I can make another list of these of fantastic bear proof bourbons that you don't know about. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The link for all that stuff is down there below. We appreciate you for all your support. Cheers. We'll see you later.